In this video, I'll explain how to attach the snap fenders or mudguards onto the WIM 2 and 3 models, as well as the WIM 4, 5 and 6. Remember, these fenders are only compatible with bike models from November 2020 onwards. Tool-wise, you'll need an 8mm combination or open-ended spanner, as well as a crosshead screwdriver. We've got to build before we can mount, so let's begin by attaching the stays to the front and back of the fenders. Hold the fender upside down and get a screw in your other hand. Put the screw through the pre-drilled hole and lay the stays on top. Now add a washer and a bolt to securely attach the stays to the fender. Use the 8mm spanner and the crosshead screwdriver to finish this part off. The process of mounting the rear fenders is the same regardless of which wound model you have, but the assembly process for the front fender differs slightly depending on your model. On the wound 4, 5 and 6 models, we insert the fender through the fork and attach it to the mount underneath the crown of the fork. Step 2 involves simply clicking the stays onto the end of the quick release. Secure these with two little rubber bands. The assembly process for the WIM 2 and 3 is almost identical but there are no rubber bands involved. When it comes to mounting the rear fender, all the models work the same. Thread it around the back wheel and slot it into the opening between the two chain stays. Make sure it is also sitting nicely in the mount. Now we need to click the stays onto the end of the axle. If your fenders are wonky, you can straighten them by adjusting the length of the stays before attaching them to the axle. You've got 5mm of play on either side. Unclip it first, then twist the click on mount a little bit further in or further out depending on what's needed. Nice, now your fenders are fitted. Time to go and have fun riding through the mud. If you've got any questions about the fenders and how to attach them, please leave us a comment. We're always happy to help. 